One day he is a grim reaper, the next day a fox. He can portray anything perfectly. Lee Dong-wook has been in this industry for a long time and achieved a lot. However, he doesn't think that way, in one of the interviews he said. I was a person who had more failures than successes. Here is the story of Lee Dong-wook. Lee Dong-wook was born on November 6, 1981 in Seoul, South Korea. His parents are mainly of Korean descent. In a Wook Talk episode that aired in 2020, guest and forensic professor Yoo Sung-ho revealed genealogical DNA test results for him. According to Lee's results, a significant part of his mother's genetic makeup matches that of Koryaks and Kaka's people, both ethnic groups that are indigenous to Siberia. He is the eldest of four children of his parents, who came from a middle-class background. He supported his family financially after he made his debut while still in high school. One of his younger sisters is also in show business. He was very popular at school due to his looks. He was always the tallest in the school and this would bring him a lot of attention. Yu Jae-suk asked, I heard you were told to become a celebrity since you were young. The actor said, when I was in elementary school, the vice president told me that a lot. He said he would make Dong Wook a celebrity. When I went to high school, it was a boys high school. But during festivals, girls from nearby schools could also participate. At that time, I was modeling for a magazine, so people came to see me. Lee made his acting debut in 1999 in an NBC single episode drama after winning the grand prize in the Venus Model Contest of the same year. The PD of the drama saw Lee and proceeded to cast him in the teen drama school too. With his performance in the next season of the show, School 3, he started to gain recognition. It was in the year 2005 that Lee Dong-wook became a household name in the romantic comedy, My Girl. My Girl became a hit not only in South Korea but across Asia. His performance got him recognized as a Hallyu star. Wook then went to Jungbu University to get a degree in broadcasting and media arts. Following that, Lee Dong-wook starred in dramas like Bittersweet Life, Courtroom Dramedy Partner. He enlisted in the military in the year 2009 and served under the National Defense Public Relations Service. Lee Dong-wook was discharged two years later. He revealed recently that while being in the military he gained a lot of weight. I also gained 16 kilograms in the military. I didn't gain weight healthily. I only gained fat because I went to the cafeteria to buy things to eat and didn't exercise. They gave me military uniforms once, but I gained 16 kilograms, so I didn't fit. So I had to wear loose pants. After his military service, he starred in Send of a Woman, Wild Romance, The Fugitive of Josian and Blade Man. From April 2012 to January 2013 Lee Dong-wook hosted Strongheart, a South Korean talk show, along with comedian Shin Dong-yup. Later, he also starred in the South Korean reality show Roommate, where 11 celebrities lived together and shared a house. His sister revealed later on that she was jealous of him appearing in The Raw Mate. For me and our mother, seeing my brother on Roommate is a bit emotional. I was jealous of him growing up, so I always badgered my mother and asked her why she favored him over me, one day, she called me over and said, you can do anything you want to do. He doesn't have that privilege. I didn't understand it then, but I thought about it later and I found out that it was true he never got to do anything he wanted to do. He was always either shooting or at home. When he came home, he would have a beer and read a comic book, she said. I realized that roommate was what he wanted to do have some friends and hang out. I did that in my 20s, he's getting to do that now with his other family. That's why I always cry when I watch the show. From 2016 to 2017, Lee starred alongside Gong Yu in Kim Eun Suk's fantasy romance drama Guardian, the lonely and great god playing a grim reaper. The drama was a hit, and along with its success, helped in the resurgence of Lee's acting career. In 2018, Lee starred in the medical drama Life as a doctor who works at the ER department. In 2019, Lee starred in the romance comedy drama Touch Your Heart alongside Guardian co-star Yu Na, playing a workaholic lawyer. The same year, he was confirmed as the host for Produce X 101, the fourth season of survival edition program Produce 101. He then starred as the main antagonist in the thriller drama Stranger from Hell, as a dentist in the morning but a psychopath in the evening. This drama is one of my favorites. His performance was amazing here and the storyline was very interesting. 
He also started hosting his own talk show, Wook Talk, to celebrate his 20th anniversary since his debut. In 2020, Lee was cast in the fantasy drama Tale of the Nine-Tailed as a nine-tailed fox, Gumiho, who used to be a mountain god and is now working as a civil servant. It has two seasons. In 2021, he appeared in a year-end medley, a romantic comedy film, and in an Aichi original mystery drama Bad and Crazy, which is also one of my favorites. He is now busy promoting a movie called Single and Soul which will be released on November 29, 2023. He will make a special appearance in Harbin, where some scenes were filmed in Latvia. He talked about him going there on UJ Sook's YouTube channel. It hasn't really been that long since I became well-known, so I'm always thinking like, I should treat my fans well. And yeah, it's true that too much attention makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes, but overall, they're moderately compatible to one another. I thought I was leading my celebrity life quite well up to now, but then he paused. The actor laughingly explained his pause, not very long ago, I spent some time in Latvia. I was there with Hyun Bin, John Yeo Bin and Park Jong Min for the shooting of our upcoming movie. You know what though? Nobody recognized us there. He continued, it was awesome at first. I thought to myself, wow, it's nice that no one recognizes me. I feel free. I enjoyed every moment of my time on the first day in Latvia. Which is not surprising. I have been to Latvia many times, but barely anybody knows about Korea. Of course, there are a group of people who enjoy K-pop and K-dramas but a small population. At least now he knows a place where he can walk around like a normal person. He is also going to star in the upcoming series The Good Man and web series A Shop for Killers. Many of you watching this video probably know many K-dramas that he starred in, and some of them are your favorite. However, Lee Dong-wook feels like he is not doing well. When he appeared on you quiz he explained how he feels about this. I have been an actor for 23 years, and acting has never been easy to me I encountered a slump after Goblin. I couldn't move forward. I felt like my hands and feet were tied up. I also had a feeling that I was a person who had more failures than successes. Why am I one step behind, those thoughts kept on bothering me. After staying home for a few months, I realized that nothing would be solved if I just stayed still like that. While trying to face the reality with my bare body, I met drama stranger from hell since then, acting has become more comfortable than before. As well, in an interview for W Korea he again talked about how he never felt satisfied with his own body of work. The words you did well are meaningful when someone else says them and I think that I have to look at myself, in a realistic point of view, he explains. That personality trait can be hard sometimes because there are moments when I need to love myself but I'm purposely careful not to do that. My agency director tells me sometimes not to be so hard on myself but I say to them, no, I have to fully understand reality. I have to know myself. He recalled, there was a time when I went through a severe slump and didn't leave my home for two to three months. It was right after shooting the JTBC drama Life. I felt too scared about leaving the house because I felt people would just pine at me when they saw me and no one was on my side. I got so deep into that feeling that when I hit rock bottom, I didn't meet up with anyone and I just stayed at home or worked out. When I was lost in thoughts about what was wrong with me, I was helped by a lot of people who encouraged me by telling me that I was a good person. Gong Yu was one of those people. I once again realized that even when I'm going through a crisis and having a hard time, it's the people who matter the most who you can count on to. Fortunately, he was able to overcome this and feels better now. One of the hot topics around him all the time is his love life. Throughout his career, only once he confirmed dating rumors and that was with Susie. Lee Dong-wook's agency released a statement confirming his relationship with Suzy in March 2018, revealing they met at a private party and are getting to know each other with positive feelings. In May 2018, it was revealed that the pair had decided to split up owing to a packed schedule that kept them busy, leaving little to no time to pursue romantic interests. It's true that Lee Dong-wook and Suzy have broken up. They naturally grew apart as they became busier, King Kong by Starship shared in a statement. Netizens were left shocked after Lee Dong-wook and Bae Suzy's breakup was confirmed, calling it the most legendary dating scandal. As to today, he is still single. He has said many times in interviews that he hasn't been dating for a few years due to him being busy all the time. 
His co-star Kim Bum, as well, confirmed this by saying, First of all, actually Dongwook is too busy to meet, and it's also difficult for me to meet him. Kim Bum didn't exaggerate, either. For over 20 years, Lee Dongwook has maintained a consistent schedule of starring in at least one K-drama a year. That's not including all of the hosting jobs, brand deals, and advertisements he has on his plate. Still, the busy actor hasn't given up hope. Lee Dong-wook shared his wish to meet someone naturally and get married before he turns 50. Lee Dong-wook said, I hope to meet someone naturally. It's what my heart hopes for. When I go on a business trip abroad, I always sit by myself on the plane. I hope someone my type would sit beside me. There are times when I imagine such a thing but it has never happened. Recently, he revealed that he is not sure if he is capable of being in love anymore. I'm getting more comfortable on my own. My love cells are dying. There's a way you have to act whether you like it or not when you're outside, and that's how you work with people. When you're alone though, you don't need permission from anyone. I'm used to living that way now. I enjoy being single, but at the same time, I do feel lonely. I do occasionally think about meeting a good person and dating her. This year he appeared on Jang Duyun show. Jang Duyun teased Lee Dong Wool, asking what he would do if he gets married to someone who has completely different methods of doing chores than his. But say you love her, Jang added, to which Lee Dong Wook jokingly replied, why would I have done that? The actor followed it up with his real response, saying that even after marriage, he would be doing all the chores. Since he has his own methods of doing them, he would be uncomfortable if someone else disrupts the routine. Lee Dong-wook then shared his personal opinion about the division of chores in a marriage. He feels that men should do more household work because they are technically better fit for the job. Chores require a lot of strength. So it's only right that the one with more strength should do them, he reasoned. This became viral in Korean, netizens commented. Right, right. This is what you call being a real man. A person with great looks and a greater mind, this is a real man. Hopefully, soon he will meet a great fit for himself. Thank you for watching and see you next time.